Hello, uh, Mike Swaddling here for the second Croydon Constitutionalist podcast and the inaugural podcast. And I'm here with the other Croydon Constitutionalist regular, Dan. Dan, first and most important question, we're in the pub, what are we drinking? Uh, we're drinking a lovely pint of uh, Hobgoblin Gold here in the uh, the Pembroke pub in uh, in Coolsdon. And it is a very lovely pint as well. And a very local, very lovely local pub for me. Um, so, just wanted to use this to talk a few, a few memories. We, we, we were on the Brexit campaign together, uh, vote leave in Croydon. Um, just, what, what are your best memories? Go, talk, talk through one of your memories of the campaign and some of the, the times and uh, shenanigans we got up to. Well, well, there were so many uh, fantastic occasions during the campaign, but um, I think probably the, the best memory for me really was um, the time that we were in Addiscombe, in the centre of Addiscombe, um, and we turned up one Saturday morning to set up a stall, and whilst we were the Leave campaign, a united Leave campaign with people from the Labour Party, from the Conservatives and UKIP and, and, and non-aligned people, uh, there were two separate Remain campaigns present at the time. Um, Gavin Barwell was there with his, I think it was called Britain Stronger in Europe. Um, they, were on one si- they were on one side of us and the Labour In campaign had finally got going and Sir Jones was there. And, and for those of you, you know, who don't know the area, Gavin Barwell was the Member of Parliament for Croydon Central at the time, which is where we were and Sarah Jones had been defeated by him in the 2015 general election and was to go on to defeat him in the 2017 general election. Um, and basically you had one guy, a group of guys at one end of the street telling people oh, um, if you leave the European Union you know, you're going to lose all of your rights, all of your workers' rights and what have you. Um, and on the other hand, on the other end of the street, you had uh, Gavin Barwell saying, if you leave the European Union, you'll never be able to buy anything, everything's going to get nationalised and, and whatnot. And people were walking past these, this group of people on either side and coming to us and, uh, and, and really, really engaging with us. And you had uh, local shop owners taking uh, posters off us. And, uh, and putting them up in their shops. It, it was absolutely hilarious because it was basically the political elite from either side of the um, uh, of the divide. Uh, basically, <laughs> they couldn't get on with each other enough to have just one single stall. Uh, but they were both trying to run a pincer movement on us. That was the that was a particular thing which uh, which stood out for me. Well, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm pleased you mentioned that, Ben. One, absolutely one of my favourite moments. I thought the real contrast between the two corporate stands of Labour in, very Labour, all looking the same, all set images, got their food ready, and the stronger in Europe, very, very, very corporate, all looked exactly the same, little identical models there, all their, their banners, all straight out the fresh, freshly baked in the, the pack that they got delivered. And us lot, which were frankly a bunch of chances, turning up with a, a wide variety of t-shirts, leaflets, um, anything we could get our hold on, because of course we weren't funded by anyone other than ourselves, unlike I think those two campaigns. Um, it, it, was a, it was a real contrast of the people versus the establishment in every literal sense. We bowled up, had a laugh, they, they turned up and um, uh, they turned up in a very corporate formatted managed way um of course the other thing about it and and my one of my enduring memories was the monty python-esque value of it and uh, uh I, I don't know about you but i i often thought that we could tell that they weren't the they weren't the son of god they were just very naughty boys <laughs> so uh for anyone that didn't get that reference it it was the judean people's front versus the people's front of judea a line we told to, I don't know, a couple of hundred people walking down the high street, uh, uh, all of them got instantly, all of them saw that contrast, and a, a spectacularly successful day for us. And of course, as always, we outlasted both their campaigns. 
Well, we did indeed. I mean, you know, the the, uh, the Labour Party, they ran out of uh, food that they'd purchased and uh, were giving away. Um, and I think maybe, I don't know, it, maybe it got a bit windy or something like that and the uh, the Conservative people in the Britain Stronger in Europe uh, did one, basically. We out, we outlasted them and, of course, we, we won that area, I believe, as well, in the, in the referendum, which contributed, no doubt, to the fantastic victory that we had in Croydon Central as a constituency. I, 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 yes, a fantastic victory in Croydon Central. I, unfortunately, we didn't win, win there. Aniscombe, we're actually in the Ashburton Ward, very just. Um, but it was it was the best result of the referendum. Now I can't remember the number off the top of my head. Three thousand and sixty five springs to mind, but but uh, don't quote me on that. We had uh, the number is available on the Croydon Constitutionist website, um, but uh, it was exactly fifty fifty vote between Leave and Remain. And and comical answer, fantastic number, um, and fantastic memories from the day. Thank you, Dan. No worries.